Hey guys, it's Jared. Uh, welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. And uh, for this video, we're going to be looking at GDAC Data's Total Care 2011. Uh, I haven't really had too much exposure to GData. Um, I wasn't really familiar with the company until I started getting more and more into uh, antivirus programs, internet security suites, and I found uh, G Data, which um, you know they have a pretty good track record of uh, detection, prevention. So I thought I'd give it a try. I guess they've been in business for more than 25 years, so uh, it's not like they're a new company. They've been around. They're, I believe, a German-based company. So um, <clears throat> I was doing a little reading, and uh, you know, it, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty self-efficient. I like the fact that it doesn't give you pop, a lot of pop-ups. It uh, works in the background, which is always a plus. Uh, and it, uh, it has behavior blo blocking, heuristics, and cloud security. So uh, it should be, should be pretty good. So here's the installer. And as I was installing it, you know, it took a while. And, and then I noticed why it took so long. Well, one being because it's a virtual machine and I've been doing stuff in the background. But if we uh, take a look at the properties, it's a huge installer. It's like 275 megs. It's pretty big. So, um, yeah, let's uh, run this and uh, see what we get. I'm going to install it. And if there's anything out of the ordinary, I'll come back and show you. Otherwise, I will come back once uh, everything's done. So I'll uh, be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, just wanted to show you as I'm installing GData, gives you uh, additional modules that you can install, parental controls and uh, shredder. You know, it's good that they don't, uh, they don't, they understand, GData understands that not everybody needs parental controls. So as you're installing it, you can uh, click on what you want. I'll just click on uh, shredder. Yeah, I'll click on both just to see what it looks like. So just wanted to show you that. Um, you know, you have more options to load virus updates hourly, check computer weekly for viruses, and uh, provide backup. And we don't want to do that. So I'll just continue on. And uh, again, anything out of the ordinary, I'll, I'll be back. Otherwise, I'll see you when it's installed. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, just went ahead and finished installing GData Total Care 2011. I had to restart the computer, which I did, and uh, loaded up the interface, which is there, and uh, it automatically tells you to update the uh, database, which we will do now. Um, so I guess I need to register. Let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and uh, needed to register. Um, it's pretty easy, though. You don't need to go to a website. You do it right from the um, application. You put in your name, your name, your email address. It's basically about it. And uh, you hit log in, and it uh, automatically puts in a username and password for you, and then brings you to the update page. So I'll go ahead and uh, do the updates for the two uh, virus engines, the whitelist, and the program files. Once that's done, I'll come back and uh, we'll go from there. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, all the updates have installed and uh, it's done. And I'm just waiting for it to finish up with whatever it needs to finish up. And then we'll uh, move on to the interface itself. So uh, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, finally got this working again. I did the updates, but it uh, <clears throat> got stuck. Um, when it completed the updates, it kind of froze up, so I had to uh, end the task and restart it, but uh, it's all updated now. Now it says uh, they're recommending checking the most important system areas for viruses. So we'll go ahead and do a, um, a scan. And it's going to 
check system areas. It's going to check for root kits, and then I'll check for viruses. So I'll let that do its scan and be right back once that's done. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, just did the, did the initial scan. It still says no execution. It probably wants me to do a full system scan. Uh, but in any case, I did the scan, and this is what the interface looks like. It's a pretty uh, basic interface. It has its um, CPU, the system, and GDATA's uh, CPU usage. As you can see, it's, um, it's not that bad as far as uh, its idle usage at this point. If we take a look at the task manager, it has uh, quite a, just similar to AVG, it has uh, quite a few um, processes that are running, and it totals up to about uh, 20 or so megs. No, wait, uh, almost 25 megs, um, maybe closer to 30 megs, uh, as you can see here. And that's at idle, so I mean, it's it's pretty. Uh, it's not great, but uh, it's pretty standard for for complete suites such as this one. So as you can see here, it has its virus check, its updates, and then it has its protection. So if we look at virus check uh, under your options, which is your settings, if you click that, um, you can choose to use both engines, uh, engine A only or engine B only. Obviously, you probably would want to use both engines. Uh, in the case that it finds an infection, you can disinfect, uh, you can log only, you can um, disinfect with a log only, you can quarantine, you can delete it, you can move files to quarantine and just automatically delete it. So um, by default, it's disinfect, if not possible, quarantine, which is really what you want. Um, infected archive, uh, log, so basically it leaves it up to you to figure out what you want to do. Uh, and this is a good one to check off, positive virus check at times of high system load. So if your CPU usage goes up, uh, it'll automatically pause the scan um, in, in order to avoid any freezes or crashes and what have you. It has, uh, it has advanced settings and it basically asks, well, what do you want to check? Um, priority high, check all file types, and it has heuristics to check archive, email, system area, dialer, spyware, adware, riskware, rootkits, and only check new and updated files. So everything is pretty much pre-configured there for you. Uh, for updates, um, this is typical of uh, if you want to schedule automatic updates, um, so that's fine. We already did that. And then for your other settings, the internet email, um, you have, let's see, support scans, you've got report number, uh, avoid browser timeout, send address of infected website. It gives you a download size limit, um, IM protection, and then email gives you some settings for email. So again, um, out of the box, it's pretty much configured optimally. I wouldn't really mess around with it at this point. So again, as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty plain Jane kind of straightforward interface. Uh, this is really good for people that are not that computer savvy. If they're a beginner or e even average users, they don't want a lot of pop-ups. They don't really want to mess around with um, uh, allowing or, disab um, or disallowing things. Uh, this pretty much works in the background. Um, as you remember when we were doing the install, I also installed the... Uh, data shredder so if you want to delete something permanently and bypass the recycle bin you can do that with uh, gdata's shredder so I'm trying to open it I don't know what it's doing uh, hmm. 
see if it's incorporated here. Fishing, exceptions, functions. Yeah, you have more uh, more functions here. You can create a boot CD, a bootable CD. Um, you can update your virus definitions. You can schedule it. You can uh, add exceptions, and you can um, change the settings to your firewall. Uh, again, everything is pretty much set up optimally. I wouldn't really <clears throat> mess around with it. So um, yeah, like I said, pretty straightforward. I don't know why I can't get the shredder to open. Um, open. Yeah, it kind of, well, maybe because I have this open, let's see. Hmm. Yeah. I don't, know. don't know what's going on there. Okay. Anyway, so that's it. You know, it, it, just a quick look, an overview of G Data and what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna do a second video. I'm gonna dedicate a, a second video for prevention. So I'll do that next. Um, so that's it for now. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.